thousands of years back, there was a king who wanted beautiful circular gardens. So he called his gardeners and ordered them to make circular gardens of different sizes. So these gardeners made circular gardens of different sizes with different diameters. Now, the king wanted to put a gold fence around these gardens. So he asked his gardeners as to how much of fence they would require in order to fence these gardens. And he told them to tell the exact measurement for the gold fence that they would require. Now these gardeners had no idea as to how much of fence they would require. So they went to this mathematician for help. Now the mathematician told them that they would require a gold fence equal to the length of the circle which is also called the circumference of the circle in order to fence the circular gardens. So the measurement or the length of the gold fence required would be equal to the length of the circle or the circumference of the circle. So the circumference of this circle is equal to this length, that is the length of the circle. Now again, these gardeners had no idea as to how they should calculate the circumference of the circle because the gardens were huge and it was very difficult to measure the circumference of the gardens physically. So again, they went to this mathematician and asked him how can they calculate the circumference of the garden. Well, the mathematician took this challenge and he decided to find a way of calculating the circumference of the circular gardens. He observed that even the wheel of his bicycle was a circle and the distance covered by the wheel in one complete rotation is equal to the length of this circle. So the distance covered by the wheel in one complete rotation is equal to the circumference of the circle or the length of the circle. So this distance is equal to the circumference of the circle. He measured this distance and found it to be equal to three times the diameter. That is approximately equal to three times the diameter. So this distance, which is the distance covered by the wheel in one complete rotation, that is the circumference of the circle, was found to be approximately three times the diameter. This mathematician studied different circles in his laboratory. He made big and small circles of different sizes with these diameters. He measured their circumference with a thread and this is what he found. So the circle with diameter 10 had a circumference of 31. The circle with diameter 4 had a circumference of 12.5. The circle with diameter 6 had a circumference of 18.9. And the circle with diameter 2 had a circumference of 6.3. Now do you observe something here? Well, in each case, the circumference is approximately equal to 3 times the diameter. Even the mathematician observed this and he became very curious. So he studied more and more circles and in each case he found that the circumference is equal to three times the diameter. He calculated C by D, that is the ratio of circumference to diameter for different circles and he found that no matter how big or how small the circle is, this ratio, that is C by D, is the same for all the circles. So you take any circle in the world, the ratio of circumference to diameter turns out to be this number. So it is precisely this number. And this is a very interesting fact. Now you do not need to remember this huge number. It has a special symbol called pi. 
pi is a special number. The value of pi is this, and it goes on and on. That is, it is non-terminating and non-recurring decimal number. So the value of pi does not terminate. So it is a non-terminating and non-recurring decimal number. It is a special number. And c by d is equal to pi. So for any circle, the ratio of circumference to diameter, that is circumference divided by diameter is equal to this huge number, which is equal to pi. For ease of calculations, the value of pi is taken to be 3.14 or 22 by 7. Remember, these are just approximate values of pi. These are not the exact values of pi. If you write pi equal to 3.14 or pi equal to 22 by 7, that will be incorrect because these are simply approximations. So from here, we have circumference is equal to pi into diameter. We know that diameter is equal to 2 into radius. It is twice of radius. So we have circumference is equal to pi into 2r. Or we can write this as circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So for any circle, circumference is equal to 2 into pi into r. So if we know the radius of a circle, we can calculate the circumference of the circle by using this. Circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So now the gardeners do not actually need to measure the circumference of the huge gardens. They can simply measure the radius of their gardens. They already know the diameter. So from the diameter, they can measure the radius and calculate the circumference and tell the exact measurement of the gold fence required. So we see that circumference is equal to 2 pi r. So now, can you find the circumference of a circle having radius 14 centimeter? Well, we know that circumference is equal to 2 pi r. The approximate value of pi to be taken is 22 by 7. It's given here. So 2 into 22 by 7 into r, that is radius, which is 14 centimeter. So this is equal to 2. 2 into 22 into 2, that is 4 into 22 is 88 centimeter. So the circumference of the circle having radius 14 centimeter is equal to 88 centimeter. So this is the answer. Once again, what does it mean? It means that if we have this circle, with radius 14 centimeter, then the, this length is equal to 88 centimeter. This length starting from here and coming back to this point is 88 centimeter. Or we can also say that this is the perimeter of the circle or length of the circle. So suppose you have to take part in a race. It is a one lap race and these are the different tracks A, B, C, D and E. Now given an option, which track would you like to choose for yourself? Well, in coming from here to here, that is if you start from point A and come back again to point A, you cover a distance equal to the circumference of the circle. That is, if you start from here, you run this distance, then how much distance are you covering? 
you are covering a distance equal to the circumference of this circle and that is true for all the tracks so in track b you cover a distance equal to the circumference of this circle in track c you cover a distance equal to the circumference of this circle and so on now we know that circumference is equal to 2 pi r so 2 into pi into radius more the radius greater will be the circumference of the circle so you should choose a circle which has a lower radius so that the circumference is less and you have to run a lesser distance and your chances of winning the race is higher so you should choose the inner circle because the radius for the inner circle is less than the radius for the outer circle so if you take the inner circle then you have to run a lesser distance and the chances of your winning the race become higher and this is the reason why you must have seen players in race stand they do not stand in a line they stand like this this is to ensure a fair race so that the person standing on the outermost track runs the same distance as the person standing on the innermost track the person running on the outermost track doesn't have to run a higher distance than the person running standing on the innermost track so to ensure that everybody covers an equal distance the players are not made to stand in a line in fact the people on the outer stand away from the line so we see that the circumference of a circle is equal to the length of the circle and it is given by 2 pi r 